Hey, 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 YouTube, how are we doing? It's been a while since I uploaded a video, guys, and it's also been a while since I've went live, and I'm, get in a, I'm hoping to get all my set up by this weekend to be able to go live. I will explain why I have not been able to go live and, you know, do hangouts and other things. Hopefully this weekend, I'll, all my stuff will be straight and I'll explain why my stuff hasn't been straight. So anyway, but that's not what this video is about. Uh, this is about a no cooling call we're going to at my aunt's house, actually. One of my aunts uh, that lives here in the Lafayette area. And um, she called and my daughter's actually over there playing right now. So kind of kill two birds usually normally my wife would go pick her up but my aunt actually called my wife and told told her what was going on so then my wife called me and said hey uh go to aunt debbie's and uh she, she had her unit's not cooling and you need to pick up i got to pick up our daughter anyway so she says the condenser's not coming on she has she lives in a mobile home a double wide she has a ICP condenser and a uh, mobile home, you know, electric furnace with coil inside. And uh, so, yeah, I thought I'd take you guys along for this. And again, I want to thank you guys for, uh, you know, watching my videos. And we just crossed 31,000 subscribers. We're about to hit 32,000 subscribers. And I just want to say thank you so much for that as well. And again, be patient with me. Give me till this weekend. Hopefully, I will have all my stuff straight to where I can get on live. And I can tell you guys what's been going on in my life and stuff. And it's it's all good things. Uh, except, you know, there was just a couple uh, hiccups. In, you know, that... And it's part of the reason why I have not been able to join you guys on YouTube as uh, often as I was. But we'll talk about that this weekend. And But for right now, we'll see you guys when we uh, get to the job site. Well... When you hit it that and yank the whip out, that'll usually do it. Let me pull this disconnect. I'm sure it tripped the breaker, but I ain't taking no chances. I hope she didn't bust the coil. My aunt is, she's, she's a horrible driver. And I know she did this. I know she did. Oh man, first thing I'm gonna do is see if there's if there's even any gas in it. Because if there's no gas in it, then you know. Well, she's lucky. There's still gas, and I just moved it back onto the pad as best I could. It's we're gonna take it apart. Well, the low voltage is still intact. The high voltage whip, which is this stupid <laughs> they use over here in Lafayette, you can see where they arced. So I'm sure it tripped the breaker. The fitting is still there. I'm gonna take it off and re. Uh, let me see if I can prop y'all up. Yeah, hopefully y'all can see what's going on. And I'm going to uh, put the whip back on, and uh, you know she she called me out here and was like, "Hey, my unit quit cooling." You know, like it just quit cooling, and I wasn't gonna notice the damn. Uh, you know, the big dent in the side of the mother So, I need a backup wrench. I'll have to go get another pair of damn channel locks. Or I might just be able to feed it like, there's, e there's not even a ground on this unit, on this whip, no ground wire. I don't have a whip on the truck, or I'd change the son of a Yeah, I'll just hook it back up like that. Man, this is ridiculous. My aunt is getting older, and my daughter is very close to her. But her driving has been getting worse and worse. Uh, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to let my daughter ride with her anymore. My daughter will have to be dropped off. 
and picked up. So, probably going to have to take the top off of this thing and try to bend that coil back without causing a leak so that the fan blade doesn't hit the damn thing. Boy, this is aggravating for the last job of the day. I was on my way home. I did a change out today and I was on my damn way home and uh, got this freaking call. This is just pissing off. <sighs> at first, her driving was just an issue at night. Well, obviously now it's becoming a daytime problem too. I apologize about the language. I'm just, I'm just aggravated. This is really really aggravating we we we've been through a lot with her and we do a lot for her got one of them hooked up even be good anymore and it's their original one we'll see <sighs> all right let's see what happens okay so what I did is I took my foot over just like so and just kind of gently pushed on it you can see the distance I was able to gain right there that's where it was jammed into the suction line so I was able to gain some space not all the way but definitely better than what it was. The breaker is stripped. Lay the top back on and uh, see if it'll start. All right, we still have a problem. Breaker's reset, disconnects in, contactor's energized. We're still not getting a unit. Maybe there was. I bet you I know what it is. She really did have a legit problem. And then when she left here a little while ago, cause she told me I'm leaving, I won't be there. That's when she hit this mother and didn't tell me. Okay, let's see. No power. We're getting absolutely no power. Let's check inside this disconnect. Oh, she's got fuses. Ah, I bet you she's got a burnt fuse. My line voltage is up here at the top. Yep, I got line voltage. I'm gonna have some dead fuses. Got the dummy beep on. Touch the leads. Yeah, I can tell which one's bad already if they're not both bad. Nope, that one's dead. Yep, they're both dead. Both fuses are dead. That's probably the only problem she had and then she hit this mother when she went again i'm sorry about the language i'm just really aggravated okay i don't know if i have any fuses or not let me check okay so no fuses on the truck it's after six o'clock nothing's open i could go to lowe's or home depot but i am out in the country nowhere near there this is my scrap yard i got another pile over there she lets me keep my scrap here so hopefully I can find an air handler or something with some fuses in it. It's not looking good though. I don't think I've taken anything out that old. Old ICP. I 
don't think I've taken anything out that old. Maybe on this pile I did. good oh here's a really old air handler this thing might have fuses in it this one out too. I think it does have fuses in it. Place to stand. Of course not. Now you would think this old electric furnace would have big ass fuses in it and it doesn't. Just my luck. You know, I want to say, no, these old trains, they don't have fuses. They, they got contactors in there. Damn. Oh, this sucks. Okay. We're going to have to go to plan B. Well, as you can probably tell, well, I mean, you should be able to. We're driving. We're not on the way home. We're on the way to Lowe's. Because I don't have any fuses on the truck. I thought I did, but I don't. But I promise you I'm going to stock up at Lowe's. And, yeah, I could not find a damn air handler or anything with fuses in it. Normally, I'd have a scrap pile full of them old units with fuses in them. But the one I'm changing, I'm doing a change out tomorrow. It's an old BDP air handler and it's full of fuses. But of course, that's tomorrow. I haven't changed that one out yet. So it's not sitting in my scrap pile. Oh, I don't want to blabber too much, guys. I'm just aggravated. We've had issues with, with, with my aunt. She's, she's getting older. Her driving is getting horrible. Her memory's getting bad. We tried to get her to stop driving because she's constantly wrecking her car. Not wrecking into people, but like running into <laughs> like poles and air conditioning units and <laughs> like that. So I'm just, I'm aggravated because I'm supposed to be at a buddy's birthday party right now. My wife is already there, some friends of ours. It's his birthday. My wife's already there and I'm still out doing this. Not now, now if it was, you know, paying customers and, you know, customers, hey, it is what it is. But the fact that I am having to deal with this bullshit because my aunt doesn't know how to drive when I'm supposed to be at a birthday party for a buddy of mine. Yeah, it's it, it's it's a little upsetting. It, it, it'll aggravate you. So, but I don't want to ramble too much. So we're going to head to Lowe's. I'm going to buy her fuse. I'm going to get her fuses and I will be stocking up on fuses. So this doesn't happen again because I had fuses, but apparently I don't anymore. So, all right, y'all. Uh, all right, home, I ended up going to Home Depot because it's it was on the side of the road that I was on. <coughs> they had a selection of uh, fuses. It's all the and they didn't have many either. I'm lucky I found this, so I'll have to stock up at uh, the electrical supply house. All right, I'm gonna pop these in. One thing I didn't think about was to check this damn compressor for ground, but I was thinking about it while I was riding. I don't think it is grounded, but I I'm gonna, cause she cannot afford that. And she's just pulling up right now too. So hopefully it's not.